Yo, what is up everyone? Yoda Dude 2003 here, and today I am doing another Chosen Few Effects tutorial in tandem with Game Breaker 64. In this tutorial, we will be showing you how to use the new Stutter Mosher extension in Chosen Few Effects. Now, there are some prerequisites that you need to get installed, and in this first portion, that is what I'm going to show you how to do. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you need to download FFmpeg for Windows. Now in order to do that, all you have to do is go to the link that I'm going to leave in the description. And you're just going to go ahead and select your platform, either 64-bit or 32-bit, and then do download build. Once you have that downloaded, you're going to open that up. So once you're done extracting everything to the FFmpeg folder in Program Files, it should look just like this. So then what you're going to do is you're nav going to navigate to the bin folder. You're going to copy that path, and you're going to search for environment variables on the search bar. And you're going to get a setting that looks like this, edit environment variables for your account. Click on that, and you're going to click on this one named path, and you're going to hit edit. So now you're going to hit the new button, and you're going to paste in the path that you copied earlier. Hit OK, OK again, and you should be good to go. Alright, so once you're done with that, you want to import a video file of your choice. In this case, I have imported the Ren and Stimpy episode, it's Van Hoek. So, what you need to do first is right click on time, select time format, and change it to time. This is so that you can get the exact amount of milliseconds, because this is how the stutter mosher extension interprets time. So, we're going to split it here, just so that we have an indicator. What you don't want to do is delete this and drag it here because when you import the video file it's going to be reading the entire video file. So you have to split it at the parts where you want it. And then we're going to go into media generators and go to stutter mosher extension. That will open up this window. So we're going to browse for the input file. And the output file you can put anywhere. I'll just title it Zven Skip. And then here is where your time range is going to be. So we have our beginning one 10 minutes 46 seconds and 604 milliseconds. And for the end, we're going to go here 10 minutes 49 seconds and 524 milliseconds. And now here's your mosh amount. The mosh amount essentially means how slow the video is going to be. So if you bring it down to 4, that means the video is going to be about 4 times slower than the source was. So now, if we click go, it will do its thing. And it will say the moshing completed successfully. So if you want to see the final result, it will open your default media player. And you'll be able to see it in all of its glitchy goodness. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, why don't you give it a like, comment if you have any feedback on the Chosen Few Effects plugins, or if you have any feedback on this tutorial in general. And if you like the general content on this channel, you can go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Bye bye.